everyone! Today I would like to explain how you can lower your cholesterol levels naturally without drugs. High levels of cholesterol are a global epidemic. The World Health Organization estimates they cause around 4.4 million deaths every year. But what the World Health Organization doesn't tell you is that high levels of cholesterol, triglycerides, low-density lipoproteins, lipoprotein small a and other substances associated with heart disease are only secondary risk factors. They can only cause damage when the structural integrity of the artery walls has been weakened due to a chronic deficiency of vitamin C and other micronutrients. Before I explain more, let's take a look at cholesterol and see what it actually does in the body. First, we need to understand that cholesterol isn't our enemy. It is a fatty substance that is vital for the normal functioning of our body. A major component of cell membranes, it is also used to make essential molecules such as steroid hormones, fat-dissolving bile acids and vitamin D. A measure of cholesterol's importance can be seen in the fact that the liver and the intestines make around 80% of the amount the body needs each day to stay healthy. Contrary to the advice about eating low-fat diets that is emphasized by conventional medicine, the fact is that only around 20% of the body's cholesterol actually comes from our food. So why does the body sometimes produce high levels of cholesterol, triglycerides, low-density lipoproteins, lipoproteins small a and other metabolic products? A chronic weakness of the artery walls increases the body's demand for these repair factors and their rate of production. But instead of focusing on the micronutrient deficiencies I mentioned earlier, conventional medicine seeks to artificially lower cholesterol levels through the use of statin drugs. However, not only do statins not focus on the root cause of high cholesterol levels, they also have many side effects. These include muscle pain, cognitive problems and neuropathy, as well as dysfunction of the liver and pancreas. Statins have also been linked to the development of life-threatening diseases such as cancer, diabetes and Parkinson's disease. Clearly, therefore, they do not provide the answer to lowering high cholesterol levels. The correct approach is to prevent and correct the micronutrient deficiencies that cause the body to produce high cholesterol levels in the first place. Through an optimum intake of the correct micronutrients, the structural integrity of the artery walls can be strengthened and the body's need for cholesterol and other secondary risk factors can be reduced. Let's take a look at some of the micronutrients that are especially helpful. The most important is vitamin C, which protects the artery walls and aids in their natural healing. An optimum intake of vitamin C helps reduce the body's production of cholesterol and other secondary risk factors. Vitamin E is also important as it provides antioxidant protection to the cells of the heart and arteries. B vitamins such as B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, biotin and folic acid are also important. Among other things, B vitamins help optimize cellular metabolism and counteract increased levels of homocysteine, another secondary risk factor. Carnitine, another important cellular nutrient, also plays a key role. Optimum levels of carnitine help the body to metabolize fats and lower levels of triglycerides. Stabilize the structural integrity of your artery walls with the correct micronutrients and the body's metabolic demand for an increased production of cholesterol will be reduced safely and effectively and without drugs. So stay well and take good care of your heart naturally. See you next time.